what what is um what is next on the agenda because you just dropped what did you drop um, i the... dropped a video about rihanna oh yeah um so next on the agenda if i can see it through uh, i'll be doing a video on the perfect match which is on netflix and I'm really trying my best to see it through because it's so silly. But, you know, I'm also trying to have fun with my content again. Mm. There was a point in time where I took a sharp left turn and it wasn't as fun as I wanted it to be, just more studious. Like, oh, I have to have that voila moment. I have to make people go, oh, you know, yeah. and <laughs> I want to have fun again. So I'm trying to be like, just do, just do the stupid thing. Like, just do the silly thing. Just do the silly thing. So yeah. if I can see that through and not get too much in my head, then that video will be coming. And then of course I have some other stuff that's just like, oh, wait a minute now. More more leaning towards the, in the league of like the manosphere and divine femininity. Like the, oh, you taking it there, there? Yeah. Maybe something that might rhyme with a shmishman and smooth place. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I, I, I'm looking forward to that because that is, I do find that, fascinating one thing i've been struggling with is like not so much speaking out of turn which is part of it like i'm always trying to be careful because the thing i the thing i'm trying i've tried to be conscious of as soon as i've started to get my own clout is that i i i i um benefit from you know systemic privilege as well more than you right like if i if me and you make like me and you have made the same videos in in ways mm -hmm. But like, because, you know, deeper voice and facial hair, it's like, yeah, that's the serious one. <laughs> you know sure. what I'm saying? And so, and so because of that, I try not to uh, get too far into certain critiques of like, you know, I'll say black women oriented media. Um, also, because I don't even know if I'll be doing what the fuck I'm talking about. You know, okay. and when, when I see the 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 Schmishmon and, and Rue face situation, I don't know how to take that because that looks a mess on both ends, but it's obvious that one has the like structural power as well as like the record of like violence and possibly yeah. pimping. I, I yeah. feel like I've heard, um, but there's something and, and maybe it ties back to, you know, you getting into the 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 feminism of, um you know, uh, Meg Thee Stallion and Cardi B, where it's like this, this is a feminism but like not the feminism yeah. and so it becomes this complex disentanglement of those issues and frameworks it's like where do you even start or better yet not even where you start where do you finish you yeah. know what i'm saying mm. for me it's like i try to structure things like here's what i know for sure here's what i really really think and then here is what's up for grabs, like for open interpretation. Mm -hmm. And so I want to be very clear like about that. the areas that I, where I'm not that educated in, where I don't have the personal experience in. And there's so much of this. I was just thinking about this today. Like, I have no doubt in my mind that in a couple of years, I'm going to be eating some of the words I said, like, mm -hmm. especially when I talk about love and relationships, because it's so easy when you, we have your youth in front of you, you know, the whole world is your oyster and it's like, you doing all that over a man and you know you i can say these things especially the way i critique divine femininity it's like well some women really don't want to die alone and they're getting kind of close to it you don't have that <laughs> pressure <laughs> so i know that i might be eating some of my words but i'm like i'm here now and i want y'all to know that i'm gonna say what i have to say now i'm open to change my mind i'm a human being of course i can change my mind i don't think you'll eat none of the words of divine femininity <laughs> <laughs> No, You're not going because I'm gonna tell you I, as as a person who knows. Ooh, just y'all cover me on this one when I when this gets out to the streets. I'm gonna just keep it real. As a person who knows some sisters wrapped up in divine femininity in they like mid thirties, pushing forty, mid fifties, they it just wasn't in the cars for them. And <laughs> and and like it's really just take it really just stuff that takes advantage of their insecurity, like the the yeah. reality is so much of this like that's why like i don't i don't put them on the same like overall platform because they don't have the same platform we get into like divine femininity divestors sucks off like whatever yeah. it's just not as big of a problem as what the manager does but they run on the same fuel if that makes sense which is the insecurity of black 
you know, identity angst, gender angst, relationship angst, the churn of gender wars content. Like people think the gender wars is something new. Like this shit go back to the seventies, real yeah. talk. And so seeing the rise of the Von femininity stuff and like knowing some of the women that are really like deep into it, I just, the, I just, what I see is women that have not hit up that therapist that have not, you know, really dived into like self self care and wellness, hearing the divine femininity stick that is super attractive. It sounds good. Make you feel good. It, it gives you the energy. And it's the same thing that uh, Kevin Samuels did is just a different flavor. But at the end of the day is leaving you, um, is leaving you, leaving you empty with all the rhetoric it's it's literally right. the opposite of what it presents to be and so women that are like I'm, I'm assuming yourself that are like like wellness focused genuinely not for clout or because somebody told you yeah but like genuinely seeking self-improvement and actualization that's super attractive and people are gonna you know pull that and it's 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 hard to be alone when you are attractive spiritually and like emotionally you it just people don't people don't leave you alone when you like that you know what i mean so ain't that the truth <laughs> you know because like i i got super serious with all my content for a second right it was like um i did like the sports video and then i did the boyhood video and then i did a whole three videos of the manosphere and then i did like the black man's fetishization video and i was like oh i was like he's really taking it yeah, I was, I got it. <laughs> I, I was, I was like, we got to get these out. We got to, we got to get, you know, we got to hit the streets. Kevin Samuels just died. There's a void. People gonna be out here looking for, looking for that energy. Let me put it out there. And so like this year, I'm going to try to be more balanced um, because of what you just said. Like one, you, I feel like I don't want to attract an audience that only wants super yeah. serious like taking big chunks out of me content yes. you know what i'm saying it takes such a huge chunk i don't think they realize yeah how yeah. much of ourselves we have to put like we have to dive into every single video i don't think people get that i think they think we just have let's say before it's edited two hours worth of passionate <laughs> insightful right. content just sitting right here and then we just spit it out no, no, nah, no, no, nah. because nah. because even the impetus often comes from a, like a pain. I don't know how, how you are, but like I'll see something or hear something and it'll like be like a, a, a stab mm -hmm. to the gut. And like that wound doesn't leave until it's on paper. Yes. And and then that's a, and that's an emotional experience. So my Lauren Hill video kind of snapped me out of it. And so like this video was all love. My next one though, when I'm about to get into some some hardcore black politics shit, but then after that, it's it's my it's a hip hop video again. I'm just so looking forward to this hip hop video. Yeah. And and some other light shit. Cause I don't have no more serious topics in my head right now. Well, no, I got a couple. Yeah, but, like, I feel like we'll never run out of those, fortunately I, and unfortunately. But yeah. at the same time, people come for my humor as well. And it's like if I'm too if I'm too cynical, then how am I supposed to, you know, I don't want that part of me to die because I'm so trying to like really drive these important points home. Yeah. 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 Because that's the reality. The thing I, I keep saying and I'm, I'm hoping people are receiving is that we are entertainers first. Yes. Like this is a medium of entertainment and like consumption, which and for people, the nature of the parasocial relationship and when you are black and you're saying things that don't get to be said in public discourse mm -hmm. that does create a connection that i value like i love the fact that people have heard things i had to say and it has improved their life and their perspective or yeah. this is their day i love that yeah but it also leads to kind of like an overestimation in terms of like what i really represent and what i'm capable of you know and I think that happens to all of us, and which is why we need, you know, breaks and and you know, uh, drinking water and minding our business and and patrons, 
the, the my growth and success is not just because I'm good at what I do, although I think I'm very good. It's because I've been super calculated and like following as good a pattern as I, I as I can foresee through this nebulous system. So I'm in that app daily, hourly, mm. weekly, you know, and um, plotting out things ahead of time to make sure that, you know, as soon as as soon as the numbers don't look quite right. I know exactly like I'm this this y'all never get in that white rapper video until I'm falling off. I'm just letting y'all know that right now. That white rapper video is for as soon as I feel like the numbers get a little too low. Um, cause yeah, anyway. Oh, right now. Uh, but go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm rambling. Well, to piggyback off of what you just said, yeah, at the end of the day, we are still at the mercy of an algorithm. And I don't want to just make it seem like I'm just throwing stuff up into the air and it's just doing great because I'm just that magical. Like, obviously, a lot goes into it. And I am concerned about how my channel is performing because at the end of the day, it's my livelihood. Right. So if if I happen to fall off, then yeah, things are going to get a little bit different. You know, I'm going to care a lot more. But thankfully, I'm in a position where I can just chill for well, i only release one video a month like i'm i chill as much as i can yes sleep and rest is so radical and come on like i'm <laughs> right. I i'm one thing i'm good for is to take a nap especially after i finally release a video i'm gone but yeah, yeah so we we care i i definitely care i don't want to make it seem like it's too nonchalant all of this is very important to me but at the end of the day i if it starts making me unhappy i've made a wrong turn and I got to reassess. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to to manifest other venues um, for this because definitely the you know, I started my videos without showing my face. I was never planning on on uh, being a, a brand per se. Right. And so, like, you know, I'm trying to get that H bomb situation, that H bomb three videos a year, 10 million views. That's what I'm trying to be. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm trying to be, it, oh, I, oh, for whatever the hell you want, I'm gonna do a video on a video game from 15 years ago. Uh, like, like I need that in my life. Um, but yeah, but yeah, it is intentional. And and then kind of bring the full circle. It has to be with us because the algorithm is racist. Yeah. <laughs> That's the algorithm is racist. Algorithm, I'll, to, to, to show love to my YouTube people. I know it's not trying to be racist. But nobody's trying, very few people are trying to right. be racist. Exactly. You have to understand how these systems work. And the system is not built to put people who don't look a certain way or talk about a certain thing on the same playing field. Um, and so every every black person that has popped off in the last year, year or so, whether it's cornbread tube or not, is a benevolent miracle. Absolutely. in this in this in this shit and so for us who are up here not talking crazy not eating watermelon on stream um not doing pure gossip and mess etc uh and like being artists to an extent like i i you know shout out to cj to x they convinced me that i am doing art and like when i look at your stuff it's art this is a creative endeavor for sure. and so to be a paid artist in any medium is hard Mm -hmm. And it's 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 rare, so so uh, most definitely.